And look, I know I said I was going to have a ghost show today, but uh, let me, I'll be honest with you, the troll terrorist cyber vermin jerkasses on Twitter uh, just ixnade that all together, all right? So I'll see if I do a, tr- a ghost show, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or Friday, all right? Maybe, who the hell knows, all right? But I got tired of some of these pieces of trash, and look, I'm looking at some of them right here in the Rumble chat, for Christ's sake, so... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much tired of these pieces of four-flushing, barnyard, spinach-eating crap. I'm tired of these pieces of garbage. All right, this is a serious show. The True Capitalist Radio Show is a serious broadcast, and I'd like to put a point of emphasis on that, all right? So with that being said, we got a lot of serious subject matters to talk about today. Uh, but before we do, I'd like to go ahead and give people a Twitter shout-out. I'd buy that for a Oh, dollar. Jesus Christ, here this we go. A- Journalist does his fucking job and is called a traitor. Tune in for more psyops yeah, by Hamblin. Well, Moore. I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. All right, Tucker Carlson is an anti-American piece of trash, and dare I say, it only adds to the fervor that has been, uh, you know, drawn up by the Democrats that Trump is somehow beholden to Putin and Russia. And now that has spread into the MAGA crowd, everybody who is a goddamn Trump drift, a grifter out here is all on Putin's nutsack. And lest we forget that it was Vladimir Putin that invaded Ukraine. All right, just saying, just saying. Anyway, before I get into that, let's get to some Twitter shout-outs out here, okay? If you'd like a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast, go to my Twitter account, take a look at this. All right, The Ghost Report, all right, all one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report, and retweet this tweet right here, True Capitalist Radio, episode 683, Tucker Carlson Trader. If you retweet that tweet, I will give you a shout-out live right here on the broadcast here and now. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see if we had anybody who retweeted. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Unbanned hair of the dog. Urinator, no, EG Slayer, no, and King of Bugs. No, you want to give amnesty to illegal aliens, but not amnesty for your actual fans. That actually actual give you fans money. are you, dude? The people that you just mentioned, with the exception of Five Finger Prostate Punch, don't give me dick. All right, fucking hair of the dog is some fucking loser that lives in his basement somewhere, some fucking men's home or some shit that just posts memes of me all fucking day talking garbage, and it doesn't matter what time of the day that I'm tweeting, all right? Ouija Slayer, some fucking weirdo in Texas that likes to cross-dress as his favorite anime character, for fuck's sake, and he's a fucking weirdo himself, all right? So give me a break. King of Bugs, he called into the last show and sounded like a lispy son of a bitch, and I didn't like that, all right? I didn't like that shit. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and see if anybody retweeted this broadcast here. All right, let's go ahead and see who retweeted. Here it is right here, okay? Thales in the house. Ghost is a Russian chill. Yeah, dude, I have always disliked the Russians going back to the the first couple of years of this broadcast. I made it be known that I think Russians... (laughs) I'd buy that I think Russians are throwbacks in evolution. They're mouth-breathing vodka drinkers, and uh, I just, uh, I don't really have much respect for them, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, look at this. Is 10X a good play? At least Tucker Carlson doesn't block people for making fun of him like you did. Oh, uh, yeah, a yeah. block from no. you is a WWW. Let, let me, hey, urinator, let me, let me explain that, okay? So before we get into the Twitter shout-outs, all right, the reason I tweet, I, I, I block these morons on Twitter is because these idiots are like, hey, what about that stock that you mentioned in the Twitter? And, yeah, 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 yeah. and you see, the reason I, I took it off is because uh, trading is above these idiots' pay grade out here. Uh, but I do want to say, since, you know, this dumbass urinator wants to talk shit, all right? Now, yesterday, I was expecting this stock, 10X, all right? T-E-N-X, all right? Some of the folks in the inner circle got in at an inappropriate time, and they wanted to sell. And I said, look, don't sell this thing, because aside from it having day trade potential, it actually has good short-term potential. Now, I said this in the inner circle, of course. I'm not going to say this to these fucking idiots that are on fucking Twitter, all right? Why did you block five of us on X? Did we hurt your feelings with the truth? I don't, Just I don't, to show I don't like you people. If you point out he's wrong. I'm not you wrong. Me after you lost me money on that shit stock. Uh, bullshit. Well, that's your fucking problem, because you're an incompetent idiot, all right? Everybody should always know this. Don't ever sell for a loss. All right? 
You only lose money if you sell. All right, it's better to hold the bag and wait for profits than it is to sell at a loss. And that's something that people need to learn in the market. All right, people are impatient pricks. All right, and if you would have just said, hey, look, all right, I bought in at a wrong time yesterday. Let me take a look at the 52 week range. 52 week range is $8.33 at the low, which means yesterday was coming off the 52 week lows, you fucking idiot. All joking aside, Cucker is a true bona fide useful idiot. Thank you. He isn't a journalist, he's an entertainer. Now for an agent shill. His lawyer has said as much. A one party Democrat super state is coming and the other party is full of subverted monkeys. Uh, dude, I hate to agree with you, Thug Shaker, because I do know you're a troll, but you're exactly correct, and we're going to talk about this here in a minute. But anyway, as I was stating, okay. The, there are the 52 week range all right 833 that means yesterday we were coming off of the 52 week lows jesus christ anyway now that i got that out of the way let me go back to fucking twitter shout outs out here you know you gotta fucking smack these stupid trolls down yeah that's yeah great yeah great yeah you see they're gonna have to do this shit here they're gonna have to do this shit all right shut up shut up with the fucking goddamn repetitive autistic crap and by the way, look at look at look at a five finger prostate punch on a rumble rant. You lost me money. No, you lost yourself money because you're an incompetent idiot who sticks a platypus up your ass because you're an Australian kangaroo banger. All right, that's why you lost money because you're an idiot. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back to once again the uh, Twitter shout outs out here. Let's go ahead and do this here. All right, we got. I already said Thales, Ghost is a Russian shill, Ghostina Albin, uh, LB Capitalist, Advisor of TCR, I don't have any advisors, uh, Rando McFlando, Isle of Trains, real funny, Comrade Shekelov, Paul Petto Danino, The Rich Big Dick Christo Fascist, very interesting, Shiggy Diggy, A Ghost is a Spurgler Hambone, Black Power Soldier, Cat Cans, Flamin' Creations, Dak Off P, The Big Noob, <laughs> Uh, gee, what is it, El Foxo? Just a heads up. At some point, could come at any time, will continue my efforts to eventually get you to enjoy hardcore, Frenchcore, up tempo, and eventually, terrorcore. All with audio donos. Could come at any time. Uh, great. Maybe now, we, now. Now we gotta Maybe go not. And, and listen smile, to smile. El Foxo's fucking music <laughs> at some point. Oh, retail investor! I feel like suing you for giving financial advice to your uh, fans. Go fuck I lost yourself. my entire house mortgage payment and me and my wife might have to foreclose on the house. Ah, uh, bullshit. I want my money. Let me tell you something. If you're foreclosing, it's because you're a debt-ridden piece of crap. And I'm going to talk about that here in the financial section. If you would shut your stupid stinking salmon smelling holes for a second. How about that? Anyway, we got Sir Ghostus, real funny, 805 Addict, the Uncuckable Alpha, Fallen Dong, we got Foxo, uh, Snow Chi Min, Crazy U2 Ninja, and Early Radio Graffiti on TCR, no, how about that shit? Uh, j Sev, that asshole who's always calling me a goddamn psyop, uh, tells them to go and get on and call and hangs up. Uh, a cornbread man, Kits does a flip, True Jag Luxray Radio, shut up, Hambolius, uh, Captain Cheesecake, the Silverado dude, Al Sneed, back, <laughs> oh, oh Jesus, Nicholas Cruz, hey, ghost. come on, Leans man, from Parkland, Florida, I've been a fan since 2016, uh, yeah, I just want to bastards. say I am a proud member of the capitalist army, You're I sick will educate bastard. the students at my school too. Our gun laws need a change. You're a See sick you fuck. Later, whoever maybe. whoever donated that, you're a sick piece of shit, man. All right. And speaking of dumb sick pieces of shit, uh, Baca Survivor, uh, Captain Slat Nuts isn't dying for Israel or Taiwan. You're going to be protecting your country. I'm tired of you people saying, I'm not going to fight for Israel. I'm not fighting for Israel. Listen, if your draft number is called up, it's because you are going to go protect your country and the way of life that you people have been spoiled with. That's why you have the simplistic, idiotic, selfish, spoiled brat mentality that you people have and possess at this point in time. So let me tell you, if you're not going to go and protect your country, get the fuck out of my country right now, you fucking traitorous pieces of trash. All right? The only reason that you have the luxuries and the safety of this country is because of our military might. 
And if your number is called and you got to protect this country and you say no, you should be fucking deported and, and sent on a migrant boat to North fucking Korea. You understand that? Anyway, we got Skunkler in the house. Meredith Vieira for... Oh, jeez. What is it, belligerent Brian? Joking aside, if you don't have 25k for a day trading account yet, is it worth joining the IC to learn about stocks and trading? Yes! I'm genuinely interested in being able to have something to fall back on when AI takes jobs would be nice. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, dude, listen. I, I'm in the IC most mornings. Uh, I mean, and, and there's guys in the IC that got fucking huge portfolios uh, that are living off of merely stock dividends and, and uh, you know, short term and uh, like annual trades, quarterly trades. So I, I'm not, you know, it's up to you. Uh, but in my view, uh, you know, the stock market is at the very least a decent supplemental income if you already are a decent high earner. And look, even if you don't have 25k to day trade, you could still make three round trip trades per week, meaning you can buy and sell uh, a stock three times, three round trip trades a week. And if you could catch one of these trades in the mornings, you know, you buy in the morning, you hold, you see the volatility, you look at the factors like public float, uh, 52 week range, uh, whether it's a news play, uh, the volume to uh, public float ratio, all this shit, in my opinion, I think that uh, it, it could be an excellent, excellent supplemental income, possibly if you're good enough, because remember, it's a market. It's a market, so that means that uh, everybody is buying and selling. It is up to you to speculate when you can buy at the best price and hold so it goes up and it makes a profit. And that's all it is. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope, uh, belligerent Brian, you, fit, you, you, know, you consider it. All right, cheers to you. Uh, we got uh, Jag Deluxe Ray. Toby Keith couldn't stomach it. By the way, I thought it was rather ironic. I saw this on Twi or Twitch, uh, Twitter. I was going to say X, but, you know, it's I'm still trying to deal with the Twitch X name change. Uh, but <laughs> I'd buy that for a Hey, what's dollar. up to trolling the interwebs? TCR, 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 T.C. or rear or VR. Hey, thank you, trolling the interwebs. Cheers to you, man. Uh, I don't care how many times they tried to shame me to take it. <laughs> not going to do it. Not going to do it. Don't do it. Ghost has less trading knowledge than the average YouTuber showing off daddy's Lambos. Ah, yeah, here we he go. only pitches low float morning pumps that appear in a pre-market screener, which any idiot with a Yahoo homepage can find. Ah, okay, Learn great. How to buy calls. Okay, great, ordinary <laughs> cracker. You're just upset that everybody kicked you out of Why the fucking you inner circle. Tweet about dollar ten X. Afraid of getting a little egg on your face. Great value, uh, Jim Cramer. Hey, great. Hey, asshole, Neocon Andy, go back into the VOD and I explain what the fuck was going on. Because look, I'm trying to give decent plays to people out here, right? And then when you got these dumbass trolls that are out here saying, hey, look at this and look at... I mean, uh, th that's why I'm deleting it, dude, because it's not even worth putting it out there if all I have is a bunch of four-flushing losers that are probably collecting off of the government dole anyway. And Ordinary Cracker, let's be honest, dude, you left the inner circle because everybody laughed at you, all right? I mean, you were, you were getting laughed at at everything that you fucking said. You're some stupid redneck in the middle of bumfuck nowhere that thinks she know everything. And then once you got called out on being some fucking know-it-all with not too much of a personality, you left with your tail between your legs, all right? So sit there and shut your stupid stinking all ordinary cracker hole. For Christ's sake. By the way, you were in the inner circle drunk one night, and you fucking had some Mexican living with you or in the background over there fucking doing the cucaracha or whatever the fuck you were doing. So shut up. Jesus Christ. Anyway, what else? We Oh, yeah, belligerent Brian with a... Uh, oh, no, I got a couple of them. I got uh, five-figure prostate punch. How thin is your skin that you ban people on X? No, hey, let me tell you, I can ban anybody on X, all right? I mean, I, I don't... Oh, Jesus. i buy that for a dollar Getting you to come to go to DEF CON is my one and only goal of 2024. Right. I'm 100% serious, and it will happen. I've already got your ticket. Here's nah, the receipt. I don't think so. I've got money. It I, don't, will happen. I, I don't think HTTPS so, dude. HTTPS colon I, slash hey, L, slash. El Foxo, I don't think so, man, but I'll take a look at it in a second. And Belligerent Brian with a uh, rumble rant, who said, okay, Ghost, thanks. Uh, I've got to scrape a bit of money together for the IC, but it feels like a big risk. Look, do what you want, man. I'm not telling you to go and do it. 
Uh, but let me tell you, it, you know, you you will learn a lot. All right, and there is some, you know, occasional when we're, you know, if anybody's home and every, anybody's on chat on Friday nights or Saturday nights, there's some tomfoolery in there. But it's not meant for that. You know, people, you know, get drunk, you know, and stuff like that. But at the same time, we're always talking about the news. We're talking about current events, trends. Uh, we're talking about foreign policy. We're talking about. Uh, uh, economics, uh, you know, all that shit. So, you know, it, it, the ordinary cracker is just, you know, some fucking guy with a personality of sandpaper that's just pissed that, you know, nobody found him fucking interesting or whatever the fuck. And that happens, you know, it is what it is. He fucking left, you know, just like B. Joggins left the Thunderdome after he got called out by West Coast capitalists. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Yo, ghost. Love from Texas. Oh, Salvador As a Ramos. fellow Texan uh, proud dude, capitalist, yeah. who's donating soldier, these fucking mass shooters? Always inspiring me. Who's I donating these mass shooters? Educational system. Thanks for the weapon You're recommendations a sick back in the IC. Heil Gosler. Anyway, but learning from people with experience would be good. Someone to ask dumb questions. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Cheers to belligerent Brian. And stop donating. You know, I'm not doing Twitter shout. I'm done with Twitter shout outs. You people don't deserve this shit. All right. You people don't deserve this crap. Now, anyway, let me get to the markets now, and let me do what I do on True Capitalist Radio, which is give some financial insight and some political and social commentary up in here, all right? Now, first of all, let me give you uh, some uh, suggestions of what the hell's going on out here. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've been day trading ever since day trading began back in 1995, 96. We are going into a recession. This is not going to be a soft landing. And uh, as I stated pr in previous broadcast, I believe that you will feel. Everyone will feel. Buy that oh, geez. What? What? Will you actually engage with us this time or just do the usual spurg out when we say something you don't like? By the way, Ghost fakes the rage click uh, to go watch yeah. anime. Ghost orchestrates right. a phony rage just click to shut make time for anime up. viewing. Hashtag anime right. I get it. You're a weeb. You tickle your asshole to pre-teenage girls in Japanese animations. We get it, all right? And uh, Mama Luigi said, uh, you didn't shout me out. Sad. Well, you know what, Mama Luigi? I hear that you're the one behind some of these disgusting fucking goddamn AI shits of me. All right? Uh, we used to be cool there, Mama Luigi. And now you're going on to the True Capitalist radio show and you're trying to make me look ridiculous. And I am not a man to be made to look ridiculous. Do you understand that? Now, anyway, as I was stating, I think everyone is going to feel the effects of the actual recession once the Fed cuts rates. Because traditionally, as I've stated, you can actually look at this in a chart after a substantial time of monetary tightening, which we've been under for about two plus years, uh, the Fed, once they cut rates, it's automatically followed by a recession every single time. So that's why I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, we're witnessing what is about to happen through the data and the things that are coming out and the numbers, especially the debt numbers. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Ghost Big Fan here. Believe it or not, you are actually huge in both Korea and Virginia. Can you please go back to Twitter shoutouts? I just retweeted and I want to be shouted out. Well, I'll Cheers uh, and thanks for the show. Hey, Cho Shung Hyu, I just, I just shouted you out, all right? I just shouted you out. And uh, Urinator said, the only engagement I want from you is a ring. How about taking about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack with that damn talk, you fruit bowl? Now, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the markets here because I, I just think that this is the calm before the storm. And uh, hold on, who is this? Tornado Silas. <laughs> oh, what, what? What? This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub. What if Ghost didn't fake the rage? As crazy as it sounds, it almost could have happened. For this right. scenario, All right. let's imagine Ghost gets a real job and doesn't use his dying show as his sole income source. You fucking idiot. If this was my sole income source, I'd be doing this every fucking day. All right? People piss and moan at me that I barely do this show. And yet, this is my only source of income, by the way. Get the fuck out of here, all right? Fucking loser. Anyway, Tornado Silla said, thoughts on Bocce the Rock? You should watch it sometime with Mrs. Ghost. What is that, some sick porn or some shit? Tornado Salas. Anyway, look. Take a look at these debts, all right? A $17.5 in household debt across America right now. 
All right, twelve point three trillion in mortgages. I I'm a worker, and I'm, let me tell you, if you're an American worker, you are a minority at this point. Literally, <laughs> literally a minority. If you're an American-born worker. So much for the Bitcoin going to 10k, like you said, huh, boomer? Imagine listening to this clown who was yelling and screaming about Bitcoin. It went to 15k. Calling, genuinely calling people idiots for it. went to 15k, you moron. Don't listen to ghost. <laughs> it went to 15k right when I fucking called that crash. What's your opinion on legal immigrants? And what immigration method would you recommend? I want to move to Texas in a few years. Look, I believe we need immigrants in this country. Now, really, it's the how we attain them. We should not have an open border. Do I agree with open borders? Absolutely not. Do I agree with the lackadaisical asylum uh, requirements that we have for people to enter this country? Absolutely not. Okay? I, I don't agree with that shit, but we need immigrants. And let me show you why. Take a look at this. Okay? That uh, people pissing and moaning about, oh, well, you know, it's so oh, it's so expensive to buy a house and, and goes, how am I supposed to buy a house? And I showed you this. So I'm going to show you again because it bears repeating. All right. Are you the builder? Y'all right. remember this? Y'all remember this fucking I'd shit? that for a dollar. Oh, this Jesus is Cody Christ. from the alternate history. Who help. gives a what shit? What if the ghost skipped the boring part of his show and got to radio graffiti? Yeah, you're in an this idiot. scenario by embracing his idiot. web comic site instead of larping as Donald you're an absolute Tucker idiot. Carlson, his dying show would come back to life. Go fuck off, all right? Now take a look at this. These are actual flippers, like uh, white males who are flipping houses who were f in the process of like renovating a home and saw across the street that some fucking crew was building homes like within less than a month. A whole full-fledged home. So they went up to this guy, who was an immigrant, by the way. Take a look at this. Are you the builder? Yes, sir. You built this whole house, the uh, concrete and everything? Yes, sir. You think you can build us one? Yes, sir. How much? Just like it. If you pay everything and everything, uh, uh, 200,000. Uh, 200,000 for a brand new house. To borrow lettuce, check my fridge. There's bound to be a head in there. Also, come by if you need me to lend you sugar. You're my Houston right. men. All right, you yeah, look real like a funny. Snack, as they would say, real I could funny. Eat you up for days. Listen, this is an immigrant that's able to build a home for 200k, brand new. All right, 200 brand new fucking new. House right there. We, brand we fucking it. new. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah we do it like. <sighs> all right, brand fucking new. And look, I'm gonna give you another uh, video of this same guy. Okay, because this guy here. I mean, he's he's appreciative. He's appreciative of the opportunities that are given. And and, and you folks, what what do you what do y'all do? Let me, let me let's let's just put it. Let me give you another example. Okay, forget about the immigration situation. What about uh, what are what are the young white males doing in today's America? All right, what are young white males doing in America today? Let it's me show you. Let me show you. Let me let me show you. This is what your average white male, not just your white male, average American, average Zoomer, average millennial. This is what they're doing it's right here. Same. Take a look. Put the PC shot on. This is what your fucking Zoomers and millennials are doing. These native born. Look at this guy living out of his car. This is the new fucking trend with these young fucking pieces of shit. And let's take a look in a day in a life of an American person who refuses to work and would rather sleep in a shitty fucking Kia Sophia or whatever the fuck this is. I am in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. I just woke up. Let's get ready for the day. Last night it was like 65 degrees. So all I used as a cover was just a sheet. Then I put up all my magnetic window covers. Got my windshield cover put up. Stowed them away underneath the bed cushionings with the storage under there. Ate a banana, absolutely not in sus. Threw it away on the way in the gas station, brushed the teeth, got some ice for the free. The cashier said it was cool. Then I went on a four mile run, 75 hard, day six. Then I went to the library, saw a cool view, sat next to Einstein, read 10 pages of my book. Drove over to the post office to ship out a pole, then almost got attacked by a shark. Went over to Planet Fitness, it was ab day. But you always gotta hit some push-ups and bench, even on the off days. Next, it was time to hit a steam and hot shower. Then on the way out, I saw this cool Tesla in the parking lot, they were displaying it. Then I cooked up an egg Sammy on TikTok Live. Went to Verizon. So you I see, oh, he, he wants to be a TikToker. Deport the draft Dodger idiots. 
Make America work again. Thank you. You guys are starting to look like goddamn Europeans with Thank you, to Nora get in right Carr. Because I am one and I hate it here. Thank you, Nora Carr. Thank you very much. All right, Nora Carr, I believe, is from Europe. And he, I mean, even he's saying, good God, America, you're starting to look like us Euro cucks out here, for heaven's sake. But you see, this is what this kid is doing. This is a white male, probably came from a good family. He sounds fairly articulate. And yet this piece of shit doesn't want to do a goddamn thing except sleep in his car and do nothing all fucking day. Except, hey, look, I'm going to do something on TikTok. I'm going to do something TikTok. That's what American people are doing. That's what the Zoomers are doing right now. I'd buy that. Oh, Jesus Christ. This truly is on par with this as Sniper Wolf. Yeah, content. fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Don't compare me. Hey, hey, don't compare me to fucking Sniper Wolf, you fucking piece of shit. I'd buy that for I'm not that dumb bitch. This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub. Oh, what Jesus. if Ghost was a Republican? Who gives a Ghost shit? Ghost is known for his staunch support of Democrat policies like amnesty for illegals. Who gives a shit? No, come on. The American I, people. No, no, that's but not what if true. It wasn't that way. That's not true, dude. And Five Finger Prostate Punch said, Nora Court, you have shit on your nose, you ass kisser. That's, that's great. But look. Going? I'd oh, God. What now? Hello, ghost. I just wanting to say thank you for helping me in the inner circle. Oh, Even God. though the voices in my head still don't shut up, laughing at me, saying in the joke, I found a goal in the capitalist oh, army. Oh, God. I'll All ghost right. Me. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Now, let, let, me, me, let, let me show you. This, this is the same guy that I showed you, this immigrant, who's now making fucking $200,000 houses. All right. And he's probably selling them to you, goofs, for like four hundred fifty, five hundred thousand. I mean, he is appreciative. This is an immigrant that's appreciative. While you idiots are sitting there putting your thumbs up your ass, living in fucking cars and bitching about it, you got this fucking guy coming out here and making his fucking dreams come true. Listen to this shit. Let me tell you something real personal. People who live in this America, you need a working car, and you can do whatever you want. I come in with $20 when I come in here my first time. $20 we have in my pocket, that's all we have it. I don't want to say I have a lot, but whatever I have is, is like blessing from, from the Lord. Yeah, we love that. My daughter goes to the Heart Pain University, my son is on the, on the university. I mean, look at this guy is flipping houses, he's living the American dream, he's probably making fucking, who knows, half a mil, maybe more, a million dollars a year, building these fucking, probably more than that. Uh, and, and this guy's putting his fucking kids through college. All right, and by the way, I'm sure his kids don't have no fucking college debt. I'm sure this fucking uh, this Mexican man who's a family man who cares about his family who just wanted to come in here and have an opportunity, he's now out here living the American dream while you fucking idiots have had your whole life here and you've done jack shit. You've done jack shit. So I, I want to keep working, working, working for. for or make it America better people. Better people. You're proof that you can do anything you want in America. Yes. You just gotta, you just gotta you do gotta work. work. You just you gotta, gotta work. Like you just gotta fucking work. All right, did you hear that? You can do anything you want in America. You just gotta work. And as I was stating, let's go ahead and get back to this chart here, since nobody wants to believe me that uh, Americans don't want to work. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Will you be voting Biden in 2024? From what you've been saying lately, Raise taxes dramatically. Flood the country. I, I, with I, more I never illegals. said raise taxes. You youth for pointless wars I never Russia said raise Iran. taxes, you, you fucking like Canadian you bacon shithead. Son of him. <laughs> fucking idiot. I never said raise fucking taxes. Uh, here's an audio file, folks. All right. I told you it would happen, Thomas. So here we go. Here it is. Whatever. I don't know. Is this going to play or what? Is this just going to fucking. Oh, God. Uh, here it is. It's playing. Finally, here it is. Sorry, folks. People can donate an audio file. Oh, God. I'm sorry, man. This is El Foxo Loco and his weirdo fucking music here. My apologies. I mean, this sounds horrible. I mean, who would actually find this, like, worth listening to? I don't get it. And here's another audio file as well, folks. What? 
<laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Shackle Wolf. Hey, hey, troll in the interwebs, come on, man. All right, I'm not fucking, I'm not a shekel goblin. I'm not a shekel wolf, all right? Give me a fucking break, dude. And hey, we got, what, Santa Claus? Can the registered nurse do their job and get this little bastard off the air? He's hogging up the free Wi-Fi bandwidth in yeah, the shitty yeah. trailer park. Yeah, go shove it up your ass. All right, now look. Look at this chart, okay? Take a look at this chart. All right, this line right here represents foreign labor being employed in America. And we're overproducing these types of loser people in this country. <laughs> we're overproducing them. Hello, ghost. Love from California. Oh, I God. think Kim is the best on, example man. for a successful integrated immigrant. I love the American dream. Me and my wife love the show. We love the free gun laws. We dedicate our work to you. Uh, okay. Let's go, Slur Mashallah. That's, that's horrible. All right, that is absolutely horrible. And here's Kits does a flip. You haven't even started talking about Tucker Carlson yet and instead focused on free booting content. Epic fail. Also, unban me on Rumble and Kick. I'm not I'm not unbanning you from anywhere. All right? You sit there and fan your nuts. All right, how about that shit? But anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, you can sit here and call me a, a Jew cheeseburger or whatever the fuck you're calling me because I'm telling you facts. The bottom line is American people don't want to work. They're lazy pieces of spoiled brat shit. Not necessarily the... Oh, I'd Jesus Christ. $5. What? You ghost. Greeting from El Paso. I can't believe all these... Take our jobs and leech of our entitlements. Oh, good they will God. see what will happen. Heil Ghostler and the capitalist yeah, army yeah. baby. All right, go ahead. Anyway, I said that not necessarily commercial retail real estate is going to have a ma massive contraction, but office real estate. And take a look at this. The prognosticator of prognosticator strikes again. All right. The real estate crisis is looming over banks and it's commercial real estate. All right, and what I mean is uh, the offices. Now, folks, yesterday, I think everybody needs to take notice that a uh, New York Community Bank Corp. Oh, what? $5. Fucking Vox? I got more likes on a joke about map artists. You're out of touch, boomer. Read more quotes. It's funny when you mauled at people who don't want to fight wars for Israel and oil. You're President a Canadian bacon one, piece of shit! Who screams Why don't you worry about that us? fucking goddamn fucking love I child of Fidel Castro that's, that's, that's leading your country? Your order of extra small with kid toys is well on its way. Oh, great. Please don't forget to tip. All right, yeah, you know what? Uh, tip this, all right, you fucking idiot. Anyway, New York Bank Corp, uh, Community Bank Corp, all right, just got downgraded to junk status. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look. Put the PC shot on. All right, we got Jsev. Uh, hey, G Ghost is a psyop. He may be a Fed who works for the CIA. We have proof. He may be a one. A, I think you meant to say once a week. Once a week, Neocon Andy. We have proof, but he doesn't have to be a Russian bot. I'm not. A, I hate Russia. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, uncensor your Twitter feed. It's a. It's shameful, you coward. Listen, I don't want I, it's bad enough that I got to deal with you trolls on the show. All right? It's bad enough that I got to deal with you people on the goddamn show. Do you think <laughs> Oh, I Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, no. God damn it. This shit. Skip this shit, man. God damn it. Fucking goddamn donation alerts, man. And then Jsev bought another damn uh, coffee and said, type PSYOP in chat if you're dying for the Neocon agenda or Exxon. Shut your ass, all right? You're, let me tell you something. If your draft number is called, you'll be protecting America's way of life. You'll be protecting America's freedom, so shut your mouth. Uh, che <laughs> I oh, Jesus Christ. Norocore wants me wants me to give him mod. Hey, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you about it in the Thunderdome there, Norocore. When I finally get you that, I, I'll give you that invite here, uh, probably sometime after this show here. Cheers to Norocore, and we got Chino Chino. Hi, Ghost. Great show as always. Can you add me to the archivers list as well? I can't retweet that Draft Dodgers tweet. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, that sucks. I'm sorry you can't. We man. all know the truth. 
Lur. We are Mr. the Nguyen. communists of Vietnam. The party has their eyes set on Mr. you and shall send you to Pegasus on North Avenue. Oh, you shall God. perform there before coming to my shack in Hanoi to fight at last. Hambone. VVV. Alright, thanks a lot, Mr. Nguyen. I appreciate it. And we got Mama Luigi with the Rumble Ran. Not that you care, uh, but you didn't talk about uh, Charles III's cancer. I, Dude, I was bombarded by trolls the last broadcast. That's why I didn't, dude. To be honest, he deserves it. Ah, oh, well, come on, Mama Luigi, all right? He deserves cancer. Come on, man. All right, look. Uh, let's go ahead and transition, no pun intended, from... Oh, <laughs> God. Buy that for a dollar. What now? So, hey, remember when you, like, were pushing us to invest in dollar ten x stock yesterday? Remember when you told us to buy it because it was going to up? It, it went up to seven. People lost money. Oh, remember God. when you deleted your tweet? Hey, God, shut Dutch. up. Shut up. All right. All right. It's obvious you didn't actually go and, and see the beginning of the broadcast <laughs> because I went over I this shit. I went over this shit. All right. <laughs> Dancing on the grave of I, a I dying show. Trump. Oh, I am pro Trump. I thought we Trump into hell. I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! Are you kidding me? I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! I follow Trump into hell. I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! I follow Trump into hell. I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! I am broke, Trump! I am Trump! Vox, what the fuck do you want? I already told you, you fucking stupid Canadian fuck! I already told you what the fucking we were supposed to do! I talked about how I think. Rage when it came you down fucking piece of shit! You fucking piece of shit, Matt God! God damn it! Oh, God. God. Fucking stupid fucking assholes! I told you all! I told you all to cut this shit out! Didn't I tell you pieces of shit that? I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, what is it, gun lover? I am a huge gun lover and Second Amendment supporter. What about you? Also. Guns and dicks are different. What? Quit saying you are 15 inches like you would talk about a 9 millimeters. You need to keep the decimal when talking about your 0 0.15 inch Oh, cup. fuck off, dude, all right? You're the kind of guy that probably blames your small penis on the fact that your parents made you wear tidy whities all right? So shut the fuck up! Jesus fucking Christ. You see what I gotta put up with on the fucking consistent basis, for Christ's sake? Give me a fucking break. Now, let me go ahead and move on to another subject, all right? Let me move on to, uh, I guess let's talk about domestic politics, all right? Now, folks, before I start going off on Tucker Carlson, I just want to take a look at the state of the GOP at this point in time, all right? Replacing the RNC chair with, all right, this fucking long hair liberal fuck, Scott Pressler. P.S. I know your location. Thomas, oh, we great. shall be taking you to the old Ho Chi Minh Trail so you can fight in oil upon the snake pit. Oh, Do not God. worry, Kekiller. You will become Tucker Carlson's gimp in Hanoi at 116. All right, great. All right, all right. H -N -G all, right, all, right. H. all right, shut up, Mr. Nguyen. I'd buy that for a dollar. And Joaquin Guzman. Hey, ghost, how come you love Israel so much? You had more mad at people criticizing Israel than people criticizing America. If you were drafted and you won't support the draft. Also, can you do Twitter so thoughts and make me a mod, please? Why the fuck, why the fuck do I want to make you a mod, for Christ's sake? You just shit talk me for Christ. Oh, no. This might be an ear rape, folks. This might be an ear rape. This might be an ear rape. The weather service has issued a stinky Be careful. For the following counties in southwest Oklahoma, Nation 200. What? The National Weather Service is hitting that good shit. What? I fully intend on K holding tonight, motherfucker. You can't move with me unless what you the pounding fuck pills is this shit? and snorting powders without even questioning what that shit is. What? Are you a fing ass pussy? Hey! Can't handle my life? Well, suck my puckered ass. Oh There's a tornado God. coming All for right. you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Shut him up, now. man. We do it by industrializing rain dances. Shut your this fucker down, up. And I will snort lines off your headstone. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right. Well, look. Hey, hear me out. I'll, I'll get to yours in just a second. But these are the people. I don't know what that audio file was about. 
These are the people that they're considering. Believe it or not, not only the Scott Pressler guy, which looks like literally he got shitted out of the asshole of Three Dog Night, but Mike Lindell, there's nothing patriotic of what this guy is doing. This guy is a pure fucking propagandist. Pure propagandist. Breaking nations are piss water. So China and the United Arab Emirates are piss water yes. nations, especially the UAE. Are you that naive? Dude, let me tell you something. Once we pull the fucking Middle Eastern's fucking uh, protection, all right, particularly if the Sauds want to play this fucking game that with footsies with the fucking Russians, we'll pull the fucking base right out of Saudi Arabia and it'll be open season on fucking Saudi Arabia's royal family and the UAE's royal family. All right? If they want to play that game, why do you think that we're out there in the Middle East? Why do you think that we're going to go back into Iraq? Yes, we're going to go back into Iraq. Why do you think we're bombing the fucking region out there? All right? We're doing this because these fucking Middle Eastern countries that we made rich are now thinking that they can fucking turn their backs on us. Fuck you. Fuck you. And look at this, uh, uh, five finger prostate punch. A cope and seethe, much bloodlust, Andy. Uh, dude, I'm not bloodlusting. I love this country and I want to sustain this country. All right, I want to sustain this country. And when you got people like this that are beating, being blatant propagandists for an enemy, because look, all right. I know there's people out there saying, well, ghost other people, they went out there and, and they interviewed Putin and why aren't they traders? Like I had fucking cornbread man thinking he was fucking smart instead of uh, posting his shitty fucking cat pics. I'd buy All right. that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Speaking of T.I., token- the government has abandoned you. What the fuck? They have ordered you to die, T.I. Do not trust them. What the fuck? Defect, T.I. It is a very good idea to live a sinking ship. They lie to you, T.I. You know you cannot oh win this war. Oh, my God. Your risk leaders grow richer while you die in the swamp, T.I. They will give you a medal, T.I., but You're... only after you are dead. Jesus Christ. Your government lies to you every day, poor soldier. You know, I'm, I'm fucking tired of this fucking- God damn, you stupid shit! Oh, fuck! I'm tired of this crap, man. And look, I got five finger prostate punch over there at the fucking goddamn Rumble Rants talking shit that uh, all you know how to do is sacrifice kids to Israel. This is not about Israel. I'm tired of you fucking anti Semitic pieces of shit continuously saying that. This is not about Israel. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, put the PC shot on. I had Cornbread Man, instead of posting his fucking goddamn cat memes, decide, okay, but it's okay when they do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me give you all a word of advice, okay? First and foremost, no journalist has gone into the Kremlin and interviewed Putin in his turf. These have all been in either Helsinki, at the G7 summits, this is at the Olympics. These people never went to his origin of country. And look, even if they did, we weren't at a time of war with uh, Vladimir Putin and Russia. And you want to know why we're at war? Because he went against the general consensus of the world and invaded Ukraine. And on top of which, prior to him even doing that, he had kicked out all of American businesses out of Russia which is a, a clear signal of war slash conflict. All right? And do whoever the hell influ influence 70 is in Rumble, go shove it up your goddamn clogged up cheese hole, you fucking piece of shit. And Devious Dave says, Tucker Carlson's dad was CIA glowy. Also, do you prefer ZYN or Rogue? Uh, I don't want to comment on that, but... Uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, he, he's obviously, even if his dad was CIA, he's going against uh, the current foreign policy of the administration. And Urinator, you know, saying some disgusting, despicable rumble rant about him having some kind of a pecker shaft problem. Uh, but anyway, look, aside from that, we're at war with Russia at this point in time. I mean, that would be like uh, some fucking British journalist going to Germany... All right, 
at the wolf's lair interviewing Hitler and then going to the concentration camps and saying, look, you see, they're getting fed. You see, they got a little dance hall here so they can dance and shit like that. So give me a fucking break, man. All right? Tucker Carlson is a traitor. And, I mean, even, even then, this guy's Tokyo Rose broadcast. Give me a break. And hold on, five-finger prostate punch. Then why is America fighting for Israel and constantly liberating oil? Day? Look, I don't know where you people are saying that the United States is kowtowing to Israel. As a matter of fact, the complete opposite is happening. The complete opposite. I mean, look, for all those that don't fucking believe me, all right, take a look at this. Since you fucking people are making these dumbass assumptions and you're ill-informed fucking morons, and that's why America is being flushed down the goddamn proverbial fucking toilet. Jesus Christ, man. I'm, t I'm telling you, you people are fucking jerks. You, you people are fucking jerks, man. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm trying to find the, uh, the article. But anyway, um, fucking Biden sanctioned Israel recently. Biden actually sanctioned Israel, all right, and has actually been against what the hell the offensive... That, uh, that 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 Israel is done on Gaza. So I have no idea where you people are getting that, oh, Israel this, Israel that. You're just fucking a bunch of anti-Semitic pricks. <sighs> anyway, uh, anyway, as I was stating, let me continue here, all right? Before I get interrupted by a bunch of fucking troll here we go, here we go. Here we go. What, Vox, you prick? Benefits from war in Iran slash Iraq other than Israel oil companies, and the military-industrial complex. You want a war that ensures more American blood is spilled all for that? America's also not at war with Russia. Dumb fuck, that's Ukraine. Uh, no, greater but, than, greater but than. we are at a war footing with Russia. Russia kicked out all American businesses out of Russia. Uh, buy that oh, dollar. Jesus Christ. Serious question. And you know, I'll always be serious. Is there any country the U.S. might bomb in the near future that you don't need support because you'd find it funny? We can narrow the choices down a all bit. Right, First all letter right. I, last letter L. Yeah, whatever, asshole. And trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant, if this has nothing to do with Israel, then why does most of our government have dual citizenships in the U.S. and Israel? Look, I'm not a big fan of dual citizenship, all right? So to, don't try to conflate two different fucking subjects on what the hell is uh, going on with American foreign policy. This is a great foreign policy. I mean, we've got Russia against the ropes. We've got China against the fucking ropes. Shut the fuck up and save this shit for TCR fucking just because oh, it's Black Jesus History Christ. Month doesn't mean you can do whatever the fuck you want, stupid All right. Here's yeah, the fuck, nah, stupid don't... don't waste it on a Hellcat or a Foti. All right, dude, let me tell you something, you racist pieces of shit. Enough of this crap! Oh, no. I am fucking broke, Trump! God damn it with this stupid shit! Shut this shit up, man! God damn it! I would follow Trump into hell! I would follow Donald Trump into hell! Mega! God damn it, man! Everybody was around Jeffrey Epstein. Mega! Dude, I was on Epstein Island, you dickhead. Jesus Christ. I'm Jewish. Israel's our greatest ally. The U.S. has liberty. It was a fucking accident. I am ride or die with Trump. Mega! <laughs> You guys are pieces of shit, man. And what, another audio file? What now? Groom, 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 groom. I want you in my room. But only if you're 16. Can't have you if you're 18. Oh, no! I want you in my room. But only if you're 16. Can't have you if you're 18. Take that shit off! Take it off, man! What the fuck was that shit, man? God damn it! What the fuck? Damn it, man! What the actual fuck was that shit? I am pro Trump! Oh, God. I am ride or die with Trump! Shut that shit I up! Follow Trump. Shut that shit up! God damn it, you fucking troll AI pieces of shit! Ah! Superiority. 
We all know who is the real superpower. I'm tired of this shit. Russia and China. Russia has already won, and the MSM lies to you. Oh yeah, shut up! Shut your stupid fucking salmon smelling hole. More Abrams and patriots as we advance to Kiev. You're not going to do a goddamn thing, all right? I'm sure whoever the hell donated that, I'm sure they're part of the MAGA crew, all right? Because for whatever reason, these MAGA people have an obsession with Russia, have an obsession with Putin, even though he was the aggressor, he was the guy that invaded Ukraine. And yet, all of you MAGA people, including Tucker, Cucker Carlson over here, are trying to paint Putin as the victim. He's the victim. Putin is the victim all of a sudden. Unfucking believable. Let me tell you, I never thought I'd see MAGA turn from make America great again to now make Russia a great again. I mean, indecision. Indecision. Hey, uh, ghost. What? I am, uh, enjoying your, uh, show and hope you're, uh, having a good time. Can you, uh, you know... Pause for 15 minutes? No. I have to the squirts and can't hold it in for a long. Oh, Jesus Thanks and kill all. No, no, no. Easy, eight, easy, eight. Go shove it up your ass, all right? But this is the state of the Republican Party, folks. We are not in a good position at all. At all. And you know, it seems to me that MAGA is now turning the Republican Party into the Democrat Party. Take a look at this. Democrats lose ground with black and Hispanic adults. And you know what's ironic is that the majority of folks that are MAGA are white nationalists, for Christ's sake. Oh, God. You have lost this war, D.I. Oh, Jesus you Christ. Come on! Come on! Imperialists, many fight this war, D.I. They do not care about you. T.I., the government has betrayed you. You will not return this for you. This is fucked up, dude. This is full, fucking horrible, man. T.I., you airplanes bombed your own men. You are not safe here. I'm tired of this shit, man. All These right. guys are dangerous, T.I. They will never harm you tonight. Your pilots do not care that you are down here, T.I. I'm fucking tired of this yeah. fucking shit, man. You cannot... Shut the fuck up, man! God damn it, man! Ah! Ah! Fuck! All right, man, I'm getting tired of this fucking show already. Yeah, now y'all are starting to push my buttons, dude. Now y'all are starting to push my buttons. I need some tobacco right now. Where's my pipe? Where's my goddamn pipe? All right, here it is. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I got some tobacco, some new tobacco from a Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. All right. Goes to show you I'm a cultured man. And this new strain of tobacco is called uh, transgender chimera. I don't ask. I have no idea what the hell that's supposed to mean. But that's what this is. Uh, apparently, it's called transgender chimera. So, uh, you know, that's... Uh, don't ask. It's just fucking tobacco names. I mean, I'm telling you. Right, uh, cheers to everybody out there. Let me take a smoke here, and let me try to unwind. But once again, the Republican Party started to look like the Democrat Party. For a dollar. What? Remember, the internet has changed everything. This time, there will be draft dodger funds to help America's youth escape to somewhere nice, like Italy. Great food, oh, BTW. Great. We'll get all of the true patriots to safety. The shock troops have your back. Yeah, right. All right, let me tell you, get the hell out of the country if you're going to fucking draft dodge, all right? Get the fuck out of the country if you're going to draft dodge, you son of a bitch. But once again, the Republican Party starting to look like the, the Democrat Party. About Trump's motives, if you want my opinion. All right? And look at Five Finger Prostate. But that's the point, dodging to leave the country you talk about. Then leave! If you're going to dodge the draft and leave the fucking country, you piece of shit. Anyway, as I was stating, Trump isn't a white nationalist president, okay? And this proves it. That was written by Tim Scott, who he's thinking about making as vice president. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, chat. Yes, it's me. Don't listen to anything that this neoliberal f says. Right. I am the real ghost. Sure. Now go to the White House and start posting very special prizes. 
I know the address is 15. No, no, I don't know H-N-G-G-G. what that is. So get that shit out of there. Hint. Get out of there. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, as I was stating, Trump passed the First Step Act. All right. Does anybody remember that he passed the First Step Act? The radical left does it viciously at to well-run conservative companies. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was talking with your nephew, and he asked if I could be the cameraman when you finally service your inator. Oh, He's come really on. He's looking forward to the footage. Also, to the AI brothers, can we get another ghost-approved message? Hashtag thank you, right? Hashtag ghost approves. Yeah, all right. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, all of a sudden, Donald Trump wants every one of his magatards to go out and drink Bud Light. Even though it was the MAGA people that were staunch against the whole boycott. Take a look at this. Putin's interview with Tucker Carlson shows Kremlin's outreach to Trump's GOP. I'd buy that for To Trump's dollar. GOP. What is it? If you want a serious show and a stable platform for your West Frankfurt School's Big Net Brzezinski talking points, disable the TTS and audio donos right now. But you won't because of your lust for money. You could solve all your problems three clicks. Well, you could probably just not donate, you dickhead. How about that shit, you fucking Melbourne, Australia living, fucking taking it up the pooper piece of fucking garbage? How about that shit? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, Putin's interview with Tucker Carlson shows that the Kremlin, much like they had influence of the Democrats back in the 40s and 50s, do you remember that? And you'd better stop talking, you'd stop that, don't do that. Or I would put you in jail and I'd make sure that the Justin Trudeau laws will put you in jail for a long time. Anyway, what else did you want me to fucking look at there, Vox Artificials? What is this? You said, I voted for that. Shut your mouth when you don't know shit. Discount Tucker Carlson, by the way. I know you call him a Russian propagandist because you're jealous he's more successful than your dying show will ever be. Also, the Cold War ended 30 years ago. Uh, Let it out, Bloodlust Ryan. And, uh, Brian, I'm sorry. Also, uh, we found out what happened to Prigo Zin. Oh, yeah, what happened? You Don't, let me, you're going to show that stupid fucking dumbass uh, picture of him. That is altered, by the way, uh, of him with a fuck. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, some fucking anime shit. Yeah, there it is. That's great, huh? I'm telling you, hey, Vox, you know, <laughs> I'd buy that that's why you're so dollar. fucked up in the head, dude. Once again, no ghost show. Instead, we get you being a neocon. Never oh, forget Jesus. you were a Magatard once. Pop calling the kettle black. Yeah, fuck you. All right, you racist piece of shit. All right, no, let's get back to the broadcast here. Once again, I mean, Putin's interview with Tucker Carlson shows he probably has Russian agents amongst the fucking right wing. Nobody's terrified. All right. I mean, the fact that. Uh, Tucker Carlson went out against the United States' wishes and went to Russia and the Kremlin in order to be a platform of propaganda for Putin? I mean, you heard at the beginning of that Tokyo Rose preamble that Tucker Carlson gave. He's making the United States look like a falling empire that deserved to die and that Putin is some fucking hero. All right, fuck Vladimir Putin. Fuck Russia. I want to see Russia collapse under its own fucking pressure, under its own weight, and we're almost successful, but then you've got these fucking Russian agents over here that are now calling themselves MAGA Republicans that are kowtowing and sucking the schlong head of Vladimir Putin, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Jesus Christ, take the shit off. All right, I mean, I think that this is a threat to America's national security at this point. I mean, I'm not trying to be a hyper-sensationalist here, but we're at war, all right? Or at least a war footing with Russia. We're definitely on a war footing with China. We're on an absolute war situation conflict with Iran. I mean, there's a lot of fucking people on that side of the Axis powers that are trying to be a thorn in our asses, and we got to do whatever it takes to go out there and kick their fucking teeth in. And because you stupid fucking American people are a bunch of pacifists who have your fucking hand on the chicken switch and want to piss and moan about, oh, well, what about humanity? What about this? When your fucking asses are reaping the benefits of the safety of this country, all right, of the prosperity of this country. 
How fucking dare you people, man? That's why there's a whole bunch of immigrants coming in to replace you people because you people don't even care. You don't even like this country. You won't even fight for this country. So fuck you. Jesus Christ, I can't believe this is America. I'd buy that for a Jesus dollar. Christ, I can't believe this is the fucking America. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. Jesus Christ. And what is it, Vox? He said, I, I'm not the one with the transgender torture fetish. Speak for yourself, APAC Andy. I love America. You see, you don't understand that, Vox. You're in that ice hole piece of fucking moose humping shit over there in Canada, all right? And that's why all your Canadian stars try to get the hell out of there and plant themselves over here. I want you to take back every Canadian piece of shit back to your country, all right? Take that fucking homosexual Ryan Reynolds and get him back to your ice hole, all right? Take Tom Green while you're at it. Get to, Take him back to that fucking ice hole, all right? All right, Michael J. Fox and the Shakes, take that fucking asshole back. All right, get him out of here. All right, if Canada was so great, there wouldn't be so many fucking people that are native French Canadians trying to get the fuck out of there. Fucking idiot. And here's Vox Artificials again. What's so horrifying about getting along with Russia? Hey, Vox, have you been paying attention for the past fucking 25, 30 years, you fucking stupid shithead? We've already tried two different times with, since 2000. You mean you fat so? I served my time. One and done. We'll never do that shit again. Gayest shit I've ever done. Pros. A fat check of 4K for life. That's great, man, O'Ray. What a way to spit on your fellow fucking troops there, you fucking piece of crap. All right? And that's what all of you people are doing. All of you people that are praising Putin, all of you people that want to see the demise of the United States of America, you people are spitting on not only the troops that are serving this country today, but you're spitting on the troops that died for this country, that spilt blood for this country, so you spoiled piece of shit brats can go and get your thumbs bruised on a fucking video game so you can wax your carrot to enemy and do all this man-child cosplaying bullshit, all right? So, I'm telling y'all right now, uh, this is why uh, no one in Washington, D.C. is heeding your calls to close the border and reform immigration, all right? Because not only do you idiots not want to work, you think that you can run roughshod. You think that I'm going to dodge the draft, and I hate this country. Well, if you hate this country, it's about to get a lot worse for your fucking ass. I can tell you that right now. All right? I can tell you that right now. Son of a bitch. Why do you hold so much bloodlust for Russia and for Iran? I'll tell you why. First of all, we already tried two different times to fucking reset relations with Russia. All right, after Boris Buy Me a Beer Yeltsin died, all right, and was out of power in 99, we tried to play footsies with Putin. You remember that? After 9-11, remember Putin came over to Crawford, Texas and was, I don't know, raking hay with George W. Bush Jr. and shit? We already tried that shit. All right? And then Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton tried again in 08. Y'all remember that silly... Here, let's fucking look at that shit. All right? Y'all remember that fucking dumbass uh, PR move in which uh, Sergey Lavrov, which is the foreign minister of Russia, and Hillary Clinton came out and tried to, I don't know, do some kind of PR about the Russian reset? All right? And she had a fucking reset button and shit. Let me show you this shit. Let me show you. It was the most fucking cringiest shit I've ever seen in my life. We've already done this shit with Russia. All right? We already did this fucking garbage with Russia. That's why I don't give a fuck about Russia anymore. You can't trust them. All right? They're fucking backstabbers. Fuck them. All right? No. Fuck them. Here. All right? Aside from, like I said, in 2001, 2002, Bush Jr. fucking raking hay at Crawford, Texas with Putin, here's Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary of State during Barack Obama's tenure going and doing this PR with Sergey Lavrov. Here it is. He's the foreign minister of Russia resetting relations. We already did this shit. So, oh, Sergey, uh, in anticipation of uh, this important meeting and our, our time here together, I wanted to uh, present you with uh, a little gift which represents what President Obama and Vice President Biden and I have been saying. And that is, we want to reset our relationship. 
And let's, do it, let's do it together. So we will do it together, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's fucking stupid. We already did this shit. We already the did this died shit. For this country wouldn't want future generations dying for stupid reasons because some boomer in his wheelchair wants a war. Oh, As a great. veteran, I'm ashamed how this country has fallen and I will help anyone out who wants to draft Dodge. Yeah, well, you should be arrested. All right, and every one of you people that are saying that not only will you draft Dodge, but you're going to help others draft Dodge, you should all be arrested and put in prison. All right, because you people are fucking anti-American scum, if you want my personal view. All right? So we already did this shit with Russia. Mother of God, what an amazing time to be the official TCR historian. I 100% believe Glost will be openly supporting Biden by Q2 this year. And for the record, Americans have no rights. Oh, sure. You aren't even a colony of Israel. Oh, you're a sure. slave state. Dude, you're, you're in Australia. You probably were already forced back. So what difference, <laughs> what, what you have to say, dollar. man, you're going to be fucking dead in 10 years, you fucking <laughs> idiots. Who gives a shit? All right? Who gives a fuck? Anyway, look, here's Vox Artifice. You openly hate your fellow Americans and advocate for their replacement via illegal immigrant replacement. Listen. I, I'm not advocating it. I'm explaining why it's happening. All right? I'm explaining why it's happening. I mean, American people don't want to work, and they hate their own fucking country. They don't even want to serve their own country if their fucking draft card was, ca was called. I mean, so what else are we supposed to do? These people are staunch in their ways. They're never going to fucking change. So why don't we bring in other people that are going to appreciate this country, that are going to love the Bill of Rights, that are going to not only fight for this country, but will have their uh, children fight for this country? It's fucking unbelievable, you fucking people. And look at this urinator. Arrest me. Does that mean we're using those fuzzy handcuffs tonight? Yeah, right. All right, go shove it up your ass. You don't love America. I love this country. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to preserve it. I'm trying to preserve it while it looks like the MAGA people want to destroy it. They're openly admitting that they want to destroy this country. This is lunacy. This is lunacy. And Mama Luigi, dumb question. Will you stream this election day this November? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't really like what's going on politically, dude. This whole fucking... Po but you know what? It's a representation of the people. It's a representation of the people. Because you want to know why... The public sucks. You know, I think George Carlin said that one time. Why, why doesn't a politician make a fulcrum phrase or a tagline that is serious as opposed to making America great again, change? Why don't they fucking put out something like in reality, like the public sucks, all right? The public, American public sucks. And this right here proves it. I mean, retweet if you're a piece of shit coward who would dodge the draft if America needed your service. Take a look at all these retweets. Take a look at these fucking pieces of trash. Look at this. Look at this shit. I mean, uh, look at this. Uh, we're watching you die for some billionaire Epstein associate. Look at this. Look, look at this shit. Me dodging the draft. Look at this fucking garbage. It's crap. All right, look at this. Not only will I dodge the draft, I have four kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, everybody who retweeted and said that they would dodge the draft, these people should be put on a fucking list. All right? I'm not joking around. How dare you people sit there and openly say that you would dodge the draft if our goddamn national security was being jeopardized? Unfucking believable Unfucking believable you people, man. And then you know what? You wonder why nobody in Washington, D.C. is giving a fuck about what's going on in the border? And Y'all are wondering this? Y'all are wondering this? Jesus Christ, man. I, You know, I, I am in shock. I, and I'm utterly disgusted that you people are just blatantly just anti-American scum. You know that? Get the fuck out of my country if you're anti-American piece of shit scum. Ah, uh, here's an audio file, folks. Jesus Christ. Oh, what's good, Ghost? It's two of your choppers again. They're not a fake one. I'm talking about the real one, which is me. You know, the one that goes smash things at Griggs. All that stuff. No, I, I left the show a pretty long while ago because uh, the fake Al Choppers ducks me. Yeah. Because I was going to go f his mother. You got, you, you got an Obama phone. But you know what? I was a bastard. 
But you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, man. This is some good fish and fucking chips here right here, mate. But I uh, just want to say, he's a good lad. Come All on. All right, we get it. Kingdom. We get it. And all sketches. Shut the fuck up. Some tins. Anyway, as I was stating, all right? I mean, the reason that Putin is biding his time because he's waiting for a Trump administration. If we hold back on our containment, because this is pretty much the foreign policy that we're doing. I buy that for a dollar. Oh, what? How many times are you going to tell people to fight? The USA hasn't had anyone drafted since 1973, especially during all the shit that had been happening in the Middle East. Goes to show that you don't know shit about the military. Well, first of all, I'm saying if there's a draft, because we are headed towards global conflict. This isn't just some fucking Middle Eastern skirmish here. I mean, every major power is making a fucking move here. All right? And uh, we don't have the military personnel necessary to be able to, you know, confront a multi-fronted conflict. All right? Ben Shapiro is the most dumbest idiot I have ever seen in my life, all right? And the fact that all of a sudden he's now what? He's become the number one rapper in America? I mean, that doesn't perplex <laughs> you, dumbasses. What? See, that shows that if we are against Israel, we are against America. You Zionist shekel sucker can't handle the truth. No more wars for Israel. Who profits from destruction of Iran? USA is known for destabilizing countries and leaving them in ruins. Well, that's the point. I mean, you know, no offense. I mean, you know, we destabilize regions in order for them not to be a threat to America's national security. I mean, give me a fucking break. But look, all of a sudden, uh, Ben Shapiro is now number one rapper in America. And wasn't it the uh, Republicans that once upon a time hated the whole concept of cultural appropriation, the idea of it? I mean, what? I mean, aren't y'all seeing that the damn MAGA Republicans are now turning us all into a bunch of Democrat 2008 Obamaites? For, for fuck's sake, what? Ghost, I'm literally one of your Jews, and yet you still have me banned. Also, can we at least agree on one thing? Fuck Seth Rogen. Uh, yes, all right. I mean, let me tell you, that is one of the most talentless pieces of fucking garbage that I've ever seen Hollywood push, and and there's no other reasoning other than. He's an unadulterated Jewish dude who's out here, you know, desecrating Jesus and doing all that shit. All right, I, that's all I can figure. All right, and I don't understand why Ben Shapiro is giving all this props. This is an, a disgruntled autist. I mean, every time you ask him a question, um, uh, Ben Shapiro, what do you think about Congress? Well, I think Congress is not doing a good job right now because uh, we should be doing the Make America Great Again. For, I mean, I, I, who likes to be talked to like that? Jesus Christ. You know, when I hear Ben Shapiro, I hear autism. And when I hear autism, I think of my audience that are, especially these people that are out here in these fucking chat rooms, flapping their fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard, talking a bunch of malarkey and shit. But when I think of autism, I think of this. And I got I to gotta give, I gotta give win, women or stinky holes uh, credit for this one. Take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. You remember about 10 or 15 years ago? I used to say that your mom would go to Applebee's looking for Alabama Black Snake or to get the high hard one. Well, take a look. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This is an autist, and I want you to read this. It says, today is a hard day. He's super hyperfixated. Remember, if you're dealing with an aggressive behaviors in a minimal verbal child, that behaviors are communication. Behaviors of communication. This is what I think of when I think of Ben Shapiro and fucking all you trolls. I think of this. Applebee's door. Can't have Applebee's. No cash. <laughs> Applebee's door. All right. No uh, Applebee's today. Uh, you can have hot dog. Applebee's uh, door. Can't have Applebee's. No cash. Store. All right. No Applebee's today. All right. You can have hot. Uh, white, by the way. Just, I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. All right. Don't shoot the messenger. 
But anyway, that's what I think of when I think of uh, Ben Shapiro and his autism and many of you people in here with your autism, all right? I can only imagine when your fucking mother doesn't give you fucking chicken tendies, you put your fucking hands around her throat saying, ah, 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 or whatever your noise is, like, wow, 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 or whatever your fucking noise is. That's what I think of right there. That's what I think of. So anyway, I'm sorry. I, I know I went off keister off that one, all right? My apologies, all right? Anyway, folks, look, uh, obviously we have a bunch of people that are in this fucking chat room that are all a bunch of maggotards, and they want to bow down to Putin. They want to allow Putin to take whatever fucking geography that he wants. Let, let's go ahead and bow down to China while we're at it. You know what I mean? And what is this? Five finger prostate punch. Hey, look, it's you when you don't get your way or someone disagrees with you, ghost. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. And Mama Luigi, I hear Applebee's tastes good when you're drunk. Well, Applebee's actually is a pretty inexpensive place to, you know, get a little bit of a <laughs> drunken stupor going on. I'll be honest. What is it? Even a shekel muncher like you should understand the difference of being anti Semitic and anti Zionist. Oh, we are come against on. Israel. There are Jews who are against Israel on the streets, fighting for Palestine. So fuck off, you <laughs> clubbing. Hey, fuck! Fuck you, Sasori, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, Mama Luigi with a $5 rumble rant. I forgot to mention, George Soros is pouring money in, uh, to turn Texas into a blue state. Thoughts? Texas is never turning into a blue state, dude. All right? You know how many, uh, how many years they've been trying to do that? And even if they do, uh, we did have a Democrat governor in Ann Richards. And Ann Richards, even though she was a Democrat, <laughs> she was no fucking... She was no fucking woke motherfucker. I'll this tell you is that. Cody from the Alternate History Hub. What if Ghost had thicker skin? It's hard to imagine, but in another timeline, Ghost could have been a skilled debater rather than an AliExpress Alex Jones. Oh, For this Christ. scenario, suppose he doesn't fake the rage. Fuck you, all right? Whoever the hell this Alternate History Hub, I know it's not the, the TARD that's on YouTube. I hope it's not. And if it is, uh, you know, go drink some. Uh, but, uh, you know, give me a break with this crap. And trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant, and he said, fuck Sarah Silverman. Yeah, that's another one, too. You're fucking Sarah Silverman. Where the fuck did that bitch come from, huh? I mean, who's fucking uh, Hollywood fucking niece is this bitch? What a bunch of shit. All of you fucking people that are fucking on the side of MAGA at this point. Y'all are Russian I fucking agents. Y'all are Russian fucking agents at this point. I mean, there's no other way to put it. There's no other fucking way to put it, dude. Unfucking believable. All right, put the PC shut. I got two fucking Vox Artificial. Uh, buy me a coffee. He said, America tried resetting relations with Russia, but ruined it themselves twice. You see, look at this. Listen to this propaganda. Ru we ruined it. All right. You want to know what ruined it during the second resetting during Obama's administration? The annexation of Crimea. You know what to know what it for what ruined it during the, the first time during Bush Jr. when they attempted to invade Georgia. All right, y'all remember that shit? Of course you do, because you're a fucking dickless moron who rather fucking put a couple of fingers in your ass and gyrate it counterclockwise while watching anime, you fucking uneducated jerk. Jesus Christ. Russia wants to be equals with America. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. What? I thought you hated Alaska? We are just taking back what was ours back in the early 1800s. Yeah, fuck off, peppermint swirl, all right? Anyway, the fact that Vox Artificials wants to be equal with America, I hope Justin Trudeau has some fucking Mountie or something crawled up this dude's ass. I'm not joking around. Neocon leadership in America wants to be the sole superpower. Of course! That's what I want! All right? I don't want to share the fucking superpower stage with some fucking throwback, cockeyed, vodka-drinking, roast rooski pieces of shit. All right? I don't want to share power with these fucking rip-off artists over there in Japan that we should be blinding with fucking dental floss. All right? Anyway, that alienated the hell out of Russia. How did we alienate uh, the hell out of Russia, you fucking idiot? All right, every time we've tried to do diplomatic relations with them, these morons attempt to go in and invade a fucking country. 
Jesus Christ. I mean, the, the reason we didn't like them after the Bush years, because during Bush Jr.'s second term, this dumbass Putin tried to invade Georgia. All right. When Obama and Hillary Clinton tried to go and fucking suck the schlong head of Putin, they decided to annex Crimea. So give me a fucking break. They alienated Russia. You can blame the people like Victoria fuck the EU Newland for being greedy and wanting sole dominance over Europe for Russia and United States relations being so poor. Well, fuck the EU too, all right? I mean, we're doing what we can in a very subtle capacity to make sure the EU doesn't become a fucking competitor to the United States either, all right? And blowing up the fucking... Uh, Blowing up that fucking pipeline that, uh, anyway, never mind. Uh, America wouldn't like it if Russia did color revolutions in Canada and Mexico. Do it! I don't give a shit! All right, you fucking Canadians need your shit kicked in if you want my fucking opinion. Y'all are a bunch of pussy whip bastards, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, a you're a bunch of pussy whip bastards, for Christ's sake. And by the way, don't you have euthanasia now? Don't you have euthanasia? You know, I tweeted something last night. I read, I, now I don't know if this is in Canada, all right, but I was forwarded this tweet right here. All right, put the PC shot on this tweet right here. All right, this will be my last tweet. Thanks for the love, everyone. I'm going to rest a bit more and be with my loved ones. Enjoy a last morbid meme from me. This bitch, Lauren, and take a look at this broad, all right? Let's, let's take a look at her. Okay, this broad right here decided because her country has self-euthanasia laws, she decided to go ahead and put herself down. All right? And, and, you know, why the fuck would any country do that if they have nothing but a bunch of nothings like they do in Canada for this to even be possible? Unbelievable. She's already dead, by the way. All right? I can fix. She's dead. She's dead. Anyway, what the fuck else are you asking, uh, Vox Artificials? All right. Um, uh, answer me instead of making cartoon voices like a webcomic you are. And read the rest of my last dono. I believe we left off at You Don't Love America. I, I What are you talking? I love this fucking country, man. I don't love the fucking people in it. All right? I don't love the people. And the people are anti-American now. It's sad. And they think that there should be accorded all this freedom. Like, hey, I'm born here, but I don't have to make a contribution. I don't have to fucking defend this shit. Anyway, here, wait, wait, you don't love America. Unlike you, I love my people. No, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't have majority Sheikh population, all right? Or a Sikh, excuse me, Sikh population. You know those Indians with the fucking, <laughs> with the headdress and daughter. shit? I love how I go on to Twitter and all the right-wingers are going look at the left mauling over Tucker standing up for Putin. I'm glad to know that apparently it's the left who take issue with Russia compared to these so-called patriots. I hate to agree with Froppy on this one, man. I hate to agree with Froppy, but he's right. And Five Finger Prostate Punch starting to go fund me for Ghost to go to Canada. I don't, I'm not fuck Canada, dude. If you want my opinion, I think we should go in there and just take over Canada. If you want my opinion. I think Canada is trash. No offense to the people over there. Some of you are kind of cool, but a group is defined by its majority, and most of you people are a bunch of dead moose humping, uh, mounty licking pieces of fucking ice hole sucking trash. You know, with all due respect, all right? So go piss off before I give you a slap. Anyway, I don't advocate their decimation via replacement migration. Well, it's too late because y'all have already been replaced, all right? You guys in French Canada, y'all are a minority now, all right? So enjoy the fucking uh, chicken tenderloo, you fucking idiots. And being drafted for Israel wars. Are you sure you're not voting for Biden? You openly admire his foreign policy. It's not his foreign policy, all right? It's, it's Antony Blinken, and you're damn right. I, I respect Antony Blinken's foreign policy advocate for replacement migration and even clamor for higher tax. I've never said go, I never said fucking you think I want to pay higher taxes? I don't want to pay higher fucking taxes. What kind of stupid shit is that? I'm a capitalist. How out of touch with your audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, you're from Canada, dude. All right, you, you. I, I mean, I don't know why you're listening. All right, it's obvious that you like uh, uh, the cuckold connoisseurism of one Justin Cuckold Trudeau. All right, so I, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And look at this, Marussia. You're literally parroting CNN talking points at this point. True Democrat radio. Well, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's a lie at this point. I mean, take a look at every MAGA grifter out there. Take a look at every MAGA grifter out there, and they're all out there sucking the schlong head of Vladimir Putin. Fuck Vladimir Putin. Fuck Russia. And anybody who's down with Russia, you're a fucking anti-American piece of shit. All right? Anybody who's down with Russia, you're an anti-American piece of fucking garbage. And if you want my opinion, I think that we're on a war footing, and I hope there's a federal authority watching each and every one of you fucking idiots that are out there saying, I love Putin, I love Putin, and I'm going to dodge the draft. <laughs> fucking assholes, all right? All right, there's one more Vivox artificial. She said, why did they do those in... Oh, why did they do... Oh, so now Vox artificial... See, this is the MAGA... Uh, propaganda base Russia shit coming out of Vox Artificial. Now it's all coming out. Why did those invasions, uh, they they were forced to do those invasions. Pro-American color revolutions in those countries. That's what alienated Russia. Oh, we alienated Russia. We alienated Russia. Look at this fucking person. Look, hey, Justin Trudeau, are you listening? Go send a Mountie at Vox Artificial's house and have him fucking have a... Make sure he doesn't have fucking pro-Russian propaganda or some kind of red phone where he's talking to some fucking uh, FHA, FHA, F, whatever the fuck it's called, agency over there at fucking Russia, for Christ's sake. Look at this greedy warmonger wanting to bring ruin across the world in the name of dominance, staining the name of the United States and calling MAGA Russian agents. Give me a break. True MSNBC radio. Yeah, the FSB is what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I'm pissed off. I'm Look, I'm really upset that there's that many people that are out here that hate this country and that hate America and would rather... Why don't you move to Russia then, dude? All right, get the fuck out of my country. Get the fuck out. I love America, and I love my people. Unlike you, I actually love Americans and our country. I don't love illegal Mexicans, Chinese, Turkish, Africans. You're as un-American as they come. You're a Democrat. Can you please drop the act? I'm not a fucking Democrat, dude. I'm a pissed off Republican that used to be an ultra conservative that has now left the conservative because conservatism died in 08 during that fucking campaign with Sarah Eskimo Bimbo Palin bringing her fucking ditzy, dirty whore of a fucking 16 year old pregnant bitch of a fucking daughter to the GOP convention. All right. So I dropped being conservative because conservatism isn't anymore. All right. Then I was like, all right, look, I'm a right-wing folk for life. I believe in low taxes. I believe in a strong foreign policy. I believe in fiscal conservatism. I, I believe in, in things that used to be a part of the idea of being a Republican. Th that's no longer the case, all right? That's no longer the case anymore. All right, Republicans are no longer fiscal conservatives. As a matter of fact, Donald Trump put more debt on the national debt than any fucking president before him, including a two-term of Obama, for fuck's sake. All right? So we lost the fiscal conservative uh, argument. We're no longer uh, we're, we're no longer fucking social conservatives uh, because, I mean, look, I mean, you can just take a look at all these dumbass mega people. I mean, they're fucking grotesque. I mean, they don't give a shit about morality. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the biggest names, like D Dennis Prager thinks it's completely okay to watch fucking pornographic material as long as it's enemy. All right, so that's where we're at when it comes to right-wing morality. We don't stand for shit anymore, and it sucks. All right? So excuse the shit out of me because I'm not fucking coinciding with this fucking Woody Allen butt-loving pedophile version of what the Republican Party is at this fucking point in time. All right? Excuse the shit out of me. All right, you want to fucking go out there and fucking vote for some fucking guy who turned his back on us, who fucking locked down the country? You know that no communist ever locked down their fucking country. You know that? And here you got Trump talking about, all oh, the communists are coming. All oh, the communists are coming. Meanwhile, he shut down the whole entire country. All right, 
put people out of business, made people political prisoners in their own homes for fuck's sake. All right. Only fucking president to do that shit. The majority of the American people don't want to work anymore. All right. And I've already showed you earlier in the broadcast charts that validate what the hell I'm assessing here. Put the PC shot on here, all right? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I got to re refresh it. But while I'm refreshing this five-finger prostate punch, that's funny. I remember China shutting down the country, even uh, welded people into their house. I don't give a shit about China. Why, why do you? Wh what kind of point does that make? I don't give a fuck if China takes it up the ass, all right? I don't give a fuck. Jesus Christ, I care about my country. You think I give a fuck about China? All right, I hope they get splinters up their ass sitting on their chopsticks. I don't give a fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm an American. That's what I give a shit about. I give a shit about this country, man. All right, that's what I care about. I don't give a fuck about Russia. I don't give a fuck about China. I don't give a fuck about the Middle East. I want America, the sole superpower of the international community. That's what I want. That's what the fuck I want. And we've got Vox Artificials again. Fun fact, Russia and the United States enjoyed good relations prior to the Soviet Union. Yeah, that's when the fucking communists took over, all right? Bloodlust Brian is mad. And by the way, you want to know why uh, the, the Soviets, or excuse me, the Tsar dynasty fell? The Tsar dynasty fell, and I'll tell you why. Because he, and I'm talking the Tsars, decided that they were going to modernize Russia. And what they did is they allowed private investment to come in to Russia. And when private investment came into Russia, that's when all the villages and shit, all the, all the young people from the villages came into the inner cities, like Moscow, St. Petersburg, and these, these, these big centralized cities, and decided to work in the newly industrialized cities in which they were building railroads. This was at the 1900s. This was like 1895 to about 1905, 10-ish kind of thing. Um, they built railroads. They built factories. Uh, they, you know, all this shit. And, and look, that's when the youth of Russia decided to go in the inner cities and work. Now, you know what happened? These fucking dumbass Ruskies got so pissed that they had to be on an assembly line and put the tail on the ass of something, whatever the fuck they did on the assembly line, they were so pissed that all of a sudden democratic socialism started becoming attracted to these stupid fucking losers because they didn't like working in the factories. All right? And then once they decided that, uh, oh, hey, this is not fair. I shouldn't have to work in a factory. And when you had communists and socialists saying, hey, we should preserve our values. We need to go back. We need the worker this, the worker that. That's what aided the overthrow of Tsar Nicholas, the, uh, Tsar Nicholas and his son and his, and his offspring. All right? What, what caused it was the fact that he allowed foreign investment and the people got so spoiled because they had to work and they were in a municipal area. The cosmopolitan type of lifestyle started. Oh, Jesus Christ. We will work, but not for slave wages and no benefits, you fuck. Uh, well, fucking, you, you get what you get. How about that, Frank Castle, all right? If you had the skills to pay the bills, you wouldn't be bitching, all right? And how do you get skills? You gotta go and fucking work! Jesus Christ. And fuck you, five-finger prostate punch, all right? But anyway, as I was stating, all right, I mean, I'm tired. I'm tired of fucking people that are in this country that have reaped the rewards of this country and that are so spoiled and that have never really truly had any strife sit here and claim that they hate this country, they'd rather see it fall, they would dodge the draft. I mean, this is fucking disgusting. You know that? This is fucking disgusting. And every one of you American people that are out there saying that you would dodge the draft and you're not going to die for Israel and all these stupid talking points, you're a fucking piece of shit. And I want you to get the fuck out of the country. If you if you hate America that bad, why don't you get out of here and move to Russia and see what kind of fucking lifestyle that you live over there, for fuck's sake. All right? Why don't you go and live in North fucking Korea and see what kind of lifestyle that you have. See if you can play your stupid fucking video games over there. See if you can watch your fucking anime over there, for Christ's sake. 
I'm not joking around. You fucking people are fucking scum. And you and you wonder why you're being replaced? You wonder why D.C. isn't doing shit to, uh, on this border situation? Because you people are fucking spoiled brat fucking losers, and it's a fucking shame that you people even call yourselves American. We were built on the fact that we had pride in our labor. We had pride in our work ethic. We had pride in our communities. We had pride in being an American fucking country. We don't have that anymore. We have nothing but a bunch of fucking stupid spoiled brats. And let me tell you something. I can't wait until there's a conflict and you fucking people got to be called up and protect this country. And when you fucking say no, out the fucking goddamn country you go. All right? We don't fucking need you unproductive pieces of shit. The whole reason why we have the country we have is because people risked their lives and spilt their blood for this country. And you fucking magatards that are out here saying, I'm going to dodge the draft. I hate the country. I want to destroy the system. I want to... Fuck you. You people are now becoming a fucking goddamn threat to our national security at this fucking point. And it's a shame. It's a shame. Spoiled fucking brats. You know, Karl Marx said that the ripest society for communist revolution is when capitalism was at its peak. And take a look at us now, man. There's so much economic opportunity. All you got to do is download an app and start delivering shit and you start getting paid. All you got to do is use your fucking car to drop people off from point A to point B and you can start getting paid. You don't have to go interview for it. You don't have to fucking go get approved for it. None of this shit. None of this shit. Economic opportunity out the ass. I mean, you know, folks, you know, everybody's all, hey, you know, it goes through a shekel goblin. This, uh, Why don't you start streaming? All right. Every opportunity. There's so many easy opportunities for residual income, for extra income. I mean, instead, you people are sitting there fingering your assholes. All right. I mean, you can sell shit on eBay. You can make shit on Etsy for fuck's sake. All right, you could start your own fucking product and fucking sell it on your fucking website, for fuck's sake. There are so many economic opportunities in this country, but you people are a bunch of dickless fucking pieces of lazy shit that you think that things are supposed to be given to you. Well, fuck you, you lazy pricks, all right? Reality is about to hit you people, and I can't wait. I can't wait till reality fucking hits you people, all right? Because let me tell you something. You will rue the day. I guarantee you, you will rue the day that you decided that you were going to turn your backs on this country that gave you the opportunities, that gave you the freedom that you fuckers took for granted. All right? You all will rue the fucking day. Jesus Christ. And we got belligerent Brian over here. Uh, where were... Where were you during Viet fucking Nam? Let me tell you something. I was banging your fucking whore mother, all right? I was banging your whore mother. So how's your dad and my kids, you fucking stupid moron? <sighs> anyway, I'm fucking done. I, don't, I, you know, I have nothing else to say to you people, all right? I have nothing else to say. Look at this. Five finger pie. Yeah, yeah, keep screaming to the clouds. Yeah, that's right. Let me tell you something. I can't believe you people can call yourself an American. You can openly, and I'm glad it's documented. You know that? I'm glad that every one of you people that are on Twitter or on, here, let me, let me show you, that are on X, all right, that retweeted this shit, put the PC shot on. I'm glad each and every one of you are documented being a bunch of anti-American fucking dickless coward scum. I am so glad, all right? Everybody who retweeted this shit, you're a fucking coward. You're a piece of shit. And if you're an American person, if you think that you're so badass, if you hate this country so much, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of this country, man. All right? But you're not going to. You want to know why? Because you're a fucking moron. And if you were in any other country, you would be purged. If you were in any other country, you'd be forced into labor in some fucking camp or some shit. Or you would starve to death fucking piece of shit. I love this country, man. I, if, if I had to go and fight for this country, I would go and fight for this fucking country on a fucking dime for fuck's sake. All right. If our national security was threatened. All right. And let me tell you something. You people that are too dickless to go out and defend this country. I think you need to be deported. All right. That, that's what I saw. That's what I was alluding to on the last broadcast. If you're some fucking piece of shit, anti-American draft dodger that's openly admitting this shit, then we need to put you on a migrant boat and deport your ass. 
If Fucking you were piece banging of his shit. mom, that means you dodged the draft. Ghostler is a draft dodger uh, cocksucker. God, fuck you. I knew it. WWW. Fuck you. Operation Phoenix, bitch. All right, shut the fuck up. And belligerent Brian, no need to be so standoffish about it. It was a legitimate question. Did you serve in Viet fucking Nam? Well, why don't you fucking mind your own fucking business, all right? It's not like, you know, if, if I was or wasn't, it's going to make any fucking difference. You fucking people are all a bunch of anti-American scum. If I said I was, you people would call me a baby killer. Uh, I could see you and your fucking trolls. Oh, uh, look, it's baby killer ghost. Fuck you. Fucking anti-American shitheads. And we got lazy dude 27 Press D to dodge. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's fucking great. All right. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, everybody who pushed retweet on this tweet, I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's documented. I'm glad it's documented because you're a fucking coward. You're a fucking coward. All right, anyway, I'm fucking done with this show. All right, I'm fucking I done with this fucking... Pill. What do you want, Viking Kyle, you piece of Ghost shit? Ghost is a pos and supports internationalists that are infiltrating and fucking up America. Oh, great. Ghost is kissing the boots of a foreign land and cucks for Biden's foreign policy. Fuck you, scumbag. Take your ass to fight and STF you put up or STF you coward. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something right now, all right? What I'm supporting is an American foreign policy, and if you want to read about it, why don't you read a document that I did tweet, and I'll tweet it again if necessary, a project for a new American century, all right? And read that document, and read what the future was intended under that document, which was released back in 99, 98, and everything in that document has come to pass. Every goddamn foreign policy in that document has come to pass. And let me tell you something right now, all right? That's why I am appreciating the current foreign policy. Hey, so one time I was drinking out at this bar and Dolak too many guys came in. Anyway, that just proves like a nobody likes Oh, hey, Jesus Ghost, what Christ. were you talking about? Yeah, shut up, Haywood, all right? Shut the fuck up, Haywood. Oh, yeah, look, Vox wants you to read his fucking rest of his dono here, all right? Anyway, uh, Bloodlust Brian is mad that people want peace with foreign nations so governments can focus on fixing the deteriorating quality of life at home. Nobody's stopping domestic governments from uh, helping their people. You want to know why they're not helping their people? Because their people, uh, with all due respect, uh I mean, they're not making the initiative. And the government is certainly not going to make the initiative. So that's why things are as the way they are in every fucking country. You got a corrupt government, and you got a people who don't do shit, and that are, uh, with all due respect, not uh, very mentally capable enough to understand the politics involved. I buy that for a dollar. Look at this. I will fart for my country, by the way. All right, just shut up, all right? You started out as a conservative? Well, you're as phony as every other so called conservative. When all you do is conserve the state of decline in your country. I Look, I don't understand. I mean, look, I can understand what you're saying, that, look, there's a lot more trannies now, there's open gays, you got young people claiming there's multiple genders and shit. I get it, believe me. I'm not, I'm not really too keen on what, what, that going on, all right? I am not too keen about that going on. But right now, the, I don't understand why y'all are bitching about the way of life. I mean, we're living in some of the best fucking times right now to where you could stream yourself video gaming and make some cash. All right? You could go and act like a fucking idiot on camera and people will throw money on you. You know what I'm saying? You could go out and be a podcaster. You could go out and make some shit on Etsy. You could do all kinds. There's so many, sh so much shit you could do. There's jobs out there if you want a fucking job. And yet, you people continue to piss and moan. Piss and moan. Piss and moan. And you, if y'all if y'all are not doing well right now, if y'all are not doing well right now, just imagine when the recession happens. All right, then y'all will be fucking bitching and moaning. And when that day comes, I'm gonna be sitting there, you know, probably fucking buying your fucking uh, uh, repossessed shit for five cents on the dollar. All right. Anyway, uh, guess some things never change. All right. By the way, I voted uh, PPC. You fucked hard. Uh, took part in the convoy. Fuck Trudeau and fuck you. And by the way, if you took part in the convoy, how far did that get you? Huh? <laughs> huh? How far did the damn convoy get you? Once Trudeau said, I am going to cancel the 
banking accounts of everyone that is out there participating in this shit. And then they threw out a couple of Mounties and you fucking Canadians tuck tailed and left. All right? So shut up. Jesus Christ. Instead of mocking me, try to respond to my... I've been responding to you, dude. What are you talking about? I'm making you look like a mental fucking midget, for Christ's sake. And we read the rest of my don't know. You only read the first sentence. Stop being a coward and face my word. I already did. I already made you look lower than Mini-Me's nutsack, Vox Artificials, all right? How do you like that? All right? I get it. You're a closet homosexual, and you think that you've actually been anally penetrated because you pushed back in a long turd in your ass or something during doing the number two, but that ain't... I mean, you got to figure that shit out on your own, all right? Anyway, we got belligerent Brian with a rumble ran. I'd rather... I find it rather rich you demand that we go and fight in a war when drafted, when you potentially avoided the draft. I didn't avoid the fucking draft, you fucking idiot, all right? Now you're getting irate when people asking you if you went. Sad. Listen, I, listen, I, I, I don't want to let anybody know anything about my life, dude, because these people out here are fucking sick, all right? Any little fucking thing about my life, these idiots. Oh yeah, that's it. Let me go look at this. Let me see if I can find ghosts. Let me. Oh yeah, and like here he is. Like, oh yeah, ha ha! I found. Him. I don't want to do that shit. All right. So that's why belligerent Brian, whatever your fucking name is. And we've got uh, five finger prostate punch. <laughs> I'd buy that. Five finger dollar. prostate <laughs> punch. Uh, go do a man child shit to make money. Stop being a stupid man like child tards. Just shut up. Uh, well, then why are you keep donating there, Five Finger Prostate Punch, you fucking piece of shit? Uh, why the fuck are you do donating then if I'm such a fucking Jew cheeseburger or whatever the fuck you say I am? And look at this Vox Artificial coping here, some copium. Uh, the convoy did work. Tories got rid of their cuck leader, and Trudeau is doing that shit is why he's trailing them by 20 points, dumb fuck. Well, it doesn't matter. The fucking damage is done. All right? The damage is fucking done. You think that Canada is ever going to be Canada of 25, 30 years ago? No, it's done. Congratulations. You're now in mini India. All right. Thanks a lot. C c thank you. Come again. Fucking idiot. All right. Look, I'm pretty much done with this broadcast. All right. I mean, I, I, I literally have made all these MAGA people look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack. And all they can do is continue to mold. I mean, take a look at the chat rooms, for Christ's sake, man. They're molding. They're molding, for Christ's sake. <laughs> look at them. Look at them in the chat. They're molding. <laughs> They're molding. And I love it. All right, I love it. I'm loving every minute of it. Anyway, look, I may do a ghost show either tomorrow or probably Friday. Okay, I know you love Friday ghost shows and all that other shit, all right? But that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a ghost show on probably Friday. I'll go ahead and do it on Baller Friday. All right, I didn't do a ghost show this week, so we'll go ahead and do it on a Baller Friday. And, uh, you know, just don't piss me off on Twitter, all right? Just don't piss me off on Twitter is all I got to say. I'm not doing it on Saturday. The fucking Super Bowl is this Sunday, man. You think I want to be dragging ass? During my Super Bowl party, I'm having a Super Bowl party over here, for fuck's sake. I'm inviting my homies, man. And for all you people that think I'm racist, I mean, my boys Tyrone, Archie Lee, and Kuda Bang are coming over here so we can watch the Super Bowl, for Christ's sake. I think I'm getting a whole shitload of chicken wings from one, I don't know, someplace. And we're going to be eating, we're going to be winging it, baby. I'm going I'm to fucking get a, a keg. I think I'm going to get a keg of spotting. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. The reason Ghost won't admit if he served the country is because real veterans would be up his ass further than shrapnel from a rice paddy mine. Ghost needs to come clean. Tell the truth and avoiding answering makes you a pussy. You know, Viking Kyle, why do I even need to acknowledge you for Christ's sake? You think that some Jewish homosexual <laughs> artist... For a dollar. You think that some Jewish homosexual artist, a.k.a. Adolf uh, Shekelgruber is the leader of the white race, all right? So why the fuck am I going to sit here and acknowledge somebody that's like, hey, this is what you want me to say. This is what you want. I mean, I'm telling you right now, what I'm about to do, Viking Kyle's about to get a Woody right now. Y'all, 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 not slogan, schlegen, schlagen, El Volkswagen, not schlegen, schlagen, Viking Kyle. This is what you want, right, Viking Kyle? You want us, don't you? Huh? Not schlagen, schlegen, schlagen, Volkswagen. 
Yeah, I'm sure that's what you want. All right, I'm sure that's what you want. And hold on, I've got uh, I've got one more here. Uh, Prince hooked it up with three beers, and he said, uh, "Ghosty's warped worldview cannot be reconciled with logic, uh, human nature, or living conditions." Uh, the average American mutt needs to put up with. There is nothing to be proud of. America is the biggest, strongest, most beautiful tree in the garden, sheltering and nurturing countless others, but it has been rotting from the inside for a 100 years. It is dead. Uh, Just continuing on reflex. Yeah, right. Your rights are circumcision at birth, the Jewish desert ritual thousands of years old. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, you know... Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'll let y'all know I'm circumcised, all right? And I'll be honest with you. I'm glad I am, all right? I'm just telling you, and and every woman that I've been with is glad I am too, all right? I'll be honest with you. Every woman that, like, sees, like, an uncut... uh, Oh, they they, they always tell me there's a cottage cheese problem with these uncut guys. Anyway, never mind. And being... um, where were and being educated by sub- subversive Marxists, your opportunity is working three jobs as a slave to BlackRock for sixty years, and all while being surrounded by hideous dregs. Well, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? The alternative is is that you live off the land and you spend every waking moment of your life building your own dwelling. Uh, sewing your own clothes, hunting your own food, and that sort of thing. And most of you people, especially you people in the West, y'all aren't equipped for that shit. Your career is now making excuses for Sodom and Gomorrah. Sad. We must agree to disagree, I think. But for what it's worth, when you actually debate ideas instead of using schoolyard insults, it's good entertainment. But your comebacks to myself, Vox, Prostate Punch, and Shapiro are just calling us gay or Canadian or artistic is empty words. But I'm just rambling. Just remember, friends, the correct way to answer your local recruitment officer is at your door is to hollow point between the... All right. Yeah, love you, bucko. Please chill out. Reinstate Winston with full honors immediately. No, I'm not going to do that. Or else Haywood and I will plant a bomb on your toilet. Yeah, my my fans, by the way, all right? And Five Finger Prostate Punch, you're the coward. That's why you blocked us on X, so you can have a safe space for people to lick your ass all the time. (laughs) Yeah, well, fuck you, all right? I don't like you people that I block, all right? Ghost is lying about being circumcised because he doesn't even have a penis in the first place. All right, all right. Less than greater than 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 less than greater. Shut the fuck up! All right, I'm done, dude, all right? I'm fucking done with this show. Uh, please follow me on Twitter or uh, X or whatever it's called. Uh, the Ghost Report, all one word, no underscores. All right. Please follow me on there. And also, Ghost.Report is my official website. Now, we're about to revamp Ghost.Report and, uh, you know, try to deliver some type of news, you know, something to keep people coming back. Uh, so be on the lookout for that on Ghost.Report. All right. And also, if you haven't done so already, Spread the word about True Capitalist Radio. All right, we need more serious listeners here. We need people that love America here. All right, we don't need these damn troll terrorists, cyber vermin pieces of shit, for Christ's sake. We don't need this crap, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, I'm going to try to do a ghost show this Friday, all right? So until then, I hope you trolls, uh, you know, have your schlong head stuck in a fucking electrical socket, all right? All right, anyway... I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo!